Welcome to The Unrealist. This is Chris. When I give VR demos, it almost always turns into a group activity, with one person experiencing the VR through the headset and a group of people watching on a monitor. In Unreal Engine 4.17, Epic introduced a way to display different content on the monitor than in the headset. This feature is called a VR spectator screen, and in this video, I'll show you how to create one. For this example, I'll be starting with the Zen Garden sample project from Epic, which is free. In fact, all the assets I'll use in this video are free. I've provided details in the description about where you can download them. In addition to the Zen Garden project, I've also imported the motion controller pawn from the standard VR template project and modified it so that it has a mesh representing a character's head. Before we do any work, let's just play the project to see how it looks from the standard first-person view. Normally, this is what both the player would see in the headset and the spectators would see on the external monitor. To start, I want to add a few hotkeys that will let us toggle between this standard view and the new VR spectator view we're creating. To do this, you'll open up your project settings, move to the input section, and we'll add a new action mapping. We'll call this mapping camera one, and we'll assign it to the one key. Then we'll create a second custom action mapping and call it camera two, and assign it to the number two key. So we're done adding our mappings. Now we'll open up the level blueprint to add our logic. We'll right click and insert our camera one action event. And then we'll do the same for the camera two action. When the camera one key is pressed, we want to trigger the set spectator screen mode function. Here you can see there are a number of options we can choose from. Since we want camera one to be the standard first person view, we'll select single eye cropped to fill, which matches the normal default of VR projects. And since we always want it to start in this mode, we'll also wire up the begin play to trigger this function. When the camera two key is pressed, we're gonna call the same function, but we're gonna set it to a different spectator screen mode. We're going to choose the texture mode, which lets us set a texture to be the custom view on the monitor. Then we'll call the set spectator screen texture function. Here you can choose what texture to display on the screen, but since we don't have a texture created yet, we'll come back to this later. To create our custom view texture, we'll right click in the content browser, go to materials and textures, and choose render target. Let's call it RT underscore camera two. Then we'll open that texture for editing and set its size. We want the size to be whatever the native resolution of our game is. So I'm gonna choose 1920 by 1080 for this example. We'll also set a target gamma value of 2.2, otherwise the texture will look too dark on the screen. Now that we have our render target texture created, we can set it as the value for our spectator screen. Now let's run the app again and check our progress. We start off in the standard first person view, but when I press the two key, it switches to our render texture, but we're not rendering anything to the texture yet, so it's just black.
For the next step, we'll switch to the Modes tab and search for Scene Capture 2D. And we'll add one to our scene. You'll see that the Scene Capture Actor is just another camera with all the settings you would expect with a camera. The only settings we're going to change are the field of view to make it a little narrower. And then we're going to assign our render target texture to the camera. You can already see it rendering our scene to the texture, but it looks too dark. To fix that, we need to change the capture source value. It starts as a scene color value, which is a high dynamic range value. We need to change that to final color, which is a low dynamic range value. There, that looks much better. I'll just point out that by default, the scene capture is set to capture every frame. That means our scene texture is going to be rendered at 90 frames a second, the same as our VR headset. That's fine for this demo, but for a production case, you might want to throttle that back to a 45 or 30 frames per second update. You would do that with some simple blueprint code, but I'm not going to cover that in this particular video. Now let's set the position of our scene capture camera. I'll frame up my scene using the viewport camera, but I'm gonna go ahead and set its field of view to match my scene capture camera. That way I get an accurate representation of what the scene capture camera will see. Once I get a position I like, I can just right click on the scene capture camera and choose Snap Object to View. There, now our camera is positioned exactly where I wanted it. Let's run the app again. Here you see the first person view, and now you see me from the second camera. It's as easy as that. But let's take it one step further so I can show you another feature of the VR spectator mode. Back in our level blueprint, I'm going to change the camera to spectator mode to be texture plus I. This will let us show both the first person view and our custom view at the same time. We need to call one more function to make this work. It's the set spectator screen mode texture plus I layout function. Here we configure how much of the screen is taken up by the first person view and how much of the screen is taken up by our custom texture. I'm going to do a left right split view, so I'm going to use these values. Now let's run the app again and switch to our camera two view and you see our split screen. But the custom texture is now at the wrong aspect ratio because it's only filling half the screen. Let's fix that next. The fix is simple. We just open our texture and we reduce its width by half. Now let's take another look. That looks much better. I hope you found this technique useful, and I hope it's inspired ideas for other types of VR spectator cameras. If you have specific requests of types of VR camera views you want to see, leave them in the comments. And please consider subscribing to see more videos like these. Until next time, this has been The Unrealist.